All right, YouTube, what's going on? Matt Kennedy here. Happy July 31st. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a safe and happy day so far. Right now, we're going to go over the presentation and the franchise deep dive. Here we go. My franchise sign up will be tomorrow on August 1st at some point towards the afternoon and the evening. So once that video goes live, please go ahead and click the link to sign up. And then pretty much what's going to happen is I will see a sign up list. And from that sign up list, we will then see who is in the league. It is cross play both PC, Xbox, uh, and PS5. Live reaction. Here we go. Oh, here for EA Sports to share with you some of Madden 25's new franchise mode and presentation updates. It does say disclaimer at the bottom of the screen there that you have to have next-gen console for this stuff. I think we know by now you need a next-gen console for this game to be actually pretty good. And presentation updates. Today, we'll run through details about a redesigned NFL draft experience, player personality management and dynamic storylines, team builder, updates to franchise mode, and a number of refreshed presentation elements, including our brand new broadcast teams. A redesigned NFL draft experience in Madden 25 allows you to truly feel like you're immersed in one of the most important moments in any player's career. The all new presentation simulates an authentic draft environment where players will meet Commissioner Goodell on stage. The draft experience also includes a new draft prospect board that updates in real time so because it updates in real time, that's probably one of the most important parts of this YouTube video already because numerous times when I played this game about two, three years ago in like an online actual like league, I would want to see who picked who and what happened. However, the good news is this draft board is going to update in real time now. So if I'm scrolling through these players and someone picks D or with their next pick, he will just be removed in real time. Now, ideally, I still want to see a ticker at the top of the screen that like scrolls and like goes through each pick. First pick uh, in the first round was D Maggie. And then the next pick was G Britton. And it could say who picked two that was in the older Madden titles. I really don't know why they got rid of it. And then once someone confirmed the selection, it would flash. Pick is in, pick is in. Uh, Cleveland took B DeMarco, right? Like, And is a breeze to navigate. Searching for the fastest wide receiver available? Well, now it's simple. You can sort players. These are going to be your player traits right here. So if it says right there that he... Um, delivers bone crushing hits that means that he's a hard hitter yes so how about right here utilize bull rush moves does he do bull rush moves yes or no yes and if you don't know what player traits are it's right up here um under this right here okay so a player trait does matter for a player when they are cpu controlled and not user controlled see their projections and make certain you're choosing the right one for your roster You'll also receive more in-depth analysis, both during and after the draft, as well as a draft guide that lets you know how you did. In Madden 25, new player personality management and dynamic storylines in franchise mode are critical to your success. As you shape your team, you'll face situations that real coaches do, like dealing with trade rumors, guiding off-season workouts, and defining your team's culture. Now, you have to consider your players' actions, wants, and needs. Having to make promises that players expect you to keep, which can be consequential or rewarding. Everything you do in franchise mode... I want to see that one. Mor morale is so important. This is something that's in franchise but not in Dynasty. So the more you win and the more you give a player touches or whatever in the game or, you know, the higher they do, they could get an overall increase. And I've seen some players have overalls as much as a few overall increase from like even like a plus three, plus four overall just based on their morale. So it makes better teams better and worse teams worse because let's just face it, if a team is 0-8 versus 8-0, and 0, 
the A and O teams gonna be more pumped up than the O and eight team is in real life, and that's kind of how it is in the game as well. Now this one right here was plus three for the entire year. Wow. So you have some really good boost depending on how you actually like you know impact your team culture here and the morale on your team this year. It's pretty cool. Rewarding. Everything you do in franchise mode crafts personalized stories and narratives that can last for seasons, allowing you to write your NFL story the way you intend. Team Builder is brand new in Madden 25, so you can assemble an NFL powerhouse from the ground up. Your entire roster and team is completely in your hands. You can even share your team online or download from the community's top designs. Then import them into franchise mode and take the league by storm. Other updates to franchise include over 1,400... I honestly don't like Team Builder. It's kind of too fantasy-like to me. But if you like Team Builder, you know, go, I mean, go play it. You know, I, I, I'll i stick to the real NFL. But, I mean, I really respect those that enjoy that creativity aspect to, like, their own league. More team and rookie records this year, like the rookie passing yards record and the all-time rushing record for your franchise. NFL records for single games and single season records. Franchise Central, a new home base, simplifies league creation and navigation. And the new personal message delivery system, which brings you messages from members of your organization. Other updates this year include female creative coach models, improved draft selection and free agency logic, revamped progression that allows younger players to become stars faster, and brand new storyline environments like the team meeting room, and practice sidelines. Franchise mode in Madden 25 looks, feels, and sounds different. Experience new turnover celebrations, an overhauled Super Bowl presentation that includes Hall of Famer Randy Moss and the Commissioner Roger Goodell. In Madden 25, new broadcast teams are being introduced featuring Kate Scott, Brock Heward, Greg Olson, and yours truly. We'll be joining Brandon Gauden and Charles Davis in the booth with new reactions, perspectives, and game day analysis. And he finds him in the end zone for the Minnesota touchdown. The Vikings go on a big play pass. In Madden 25, over 1,000... I definitely like how they had that set up um, with the presentators uh, and... or the commentators, sorry. Um, I like how they have, I like how they have three different crews. I think the next step in franchises, even though it's probably not going to happen, because I think you can just toggle toggle through like who is commenting which game. Have it where like one of them is like the AFC, one of them is the NFC. That way, it's like more distinct. Like if you hear their voice, you know it's the NFC. You hear their voice, you know it's the AFC. Or hey, if I hear this person's name, it's the Super Bowl. You know, like that's how you really make franchise commenting to the next level. Thousand new on-field sound effects make big hits and more heard just as much as they're felt. And improved crowd audio is sourced from NFL films for chants and reactions that are captivating, contextual, and authentic. Pre-order the MVP bundle today. To yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously a lot of things. I'll believe it when I see it in this game. Um, not gonna make the longest video here. We'll probably wrap it up there. But remember, my sign up for it is tomorrow for online uh, franchise. You know, I think really the best part of an online franchise is really having the real human to human interaction. Um, if I were to go right now to my dynasty right now and show you guys some of the best players that are actually in this game, like gems, high speed, you know, great corner, great safety. Like, there's a lot of teams going for them in the recruitment board. And like it shows you the realism, whereas if you play the CPU, Heisman or not, sometimes they will miss some things and it's kind of overpowered because you're the only human brain in the simulation of the, like the free agency, the draft. Um, so I really like the competitive aspect to an online uh, franchise. And overall, I would say this reveal video, I mean, probably an A minus. I like some of the things they're adding, but let's just see like how it actually goes in the game. 
The NFL draft rehaul is a big thing because let's just face it, the NFL draft's a big part of like franchise builds. So let's see where it goes. I'm very excited. I can't wait for the sign up tomorrow, guys. Give me your thoughts on this game mode. Give me your thoughts on franchise mode. Overall, like I said, I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be hopefully um, a game where, like again, like your experiences, like what you do for your team culture, like right there, the moments of sitting down with the player and talking to them. Hey, Jamar, how you doing? You know, the decisions you make with these players affect their morale, affect the team culture, and you know those kind of things. So I kind of like where that game direction is going. Now let's see it actually matter and actually execute it out perfectly. So we'll go from there. Take care. Give me your thoughts on Madden Franchise Mode.